Hello everyone and welcome to another Doodle World video. On today's Doodle World video, we have a new update. Yes, tent printing is actually here and some other stuff. And also there is some new skins and I will show all the skins in the gen shop near the end of this video. But before we get going on what's actually added in this tent printing update, I am Gore Punk here, the Goriest Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me at my Twitter at Goriest Punk and thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, guys, thank you for stopping by and checking out this Doodle World video video tent printing update for 2 10 2023 but let's get on with this so yes there is a new doodle added in route 12 and it's actually uh, pretty cool looking so like always left to right left being the most common right being the most root rare which is foil but how about we actually go to the discord and see what's actually added in all this update okay version 0.6.1 valentine's day event yes we got more added to this is like the actual event starting we got more chain to get multiple v-day skins which once again i'll show you near the end of this video chain to get variety of v-day themed skins there's also a brand new exotic skin added v-day cowl soul so now we got two exotic skins tint printing ink bottles are found at a one out of 14 chance on any tinted doodle use those ink bottles to add singular tints to doodles that you are printing so yes you're only able to print single tint doodles which is what i wanted which is awesome so that means anything that's double tint or higher is actually super rare because they spawn randomly. You can also pickpocket them from doodles if you don't want to ruin your chain. So if you do encounter a tinted doodle and it lets you know at the bottom that it has an ink bottle or whatever on it and if you have the move pickpocket like on your henchum, you can use that to steal the bottle without breaking your chain or catching it. We got a new doodle Minjolo, if that's how you say it. It's a spark slash beast type not bad and you can get it on route 12. Gameplay changes. Two new moves devour and cracking static grotto has uh took away heal it looks like minus heal plus rest monologue has minus armor break plus toughen swoop tar has a pickpocket so that's pretty awesome i was using my henchman for pickpocket but now i can take a move off my hunter swoop tar for chains and put pickpocket on it new trait alacrity just for melted maul replaces vengeance miss changes you can now put exile and copier to generate tickets i still have not I've seen an exile in my roulette so now i'll say date printed instead of date met for doodles that are printed which is pretty good tiny slash big doodles cost more tickets to print still not too much of tickets i think it's like 50 tickets which we'll look at the printing i still have not made my separate printing video so we're just going to look at how much stuff is more and how the ink bottle stuff looks like on there you can now use swarm snacks on route 12 root rare is foil so yes if you use swarm snacks on route 12 it's sounds like foil can start a swarm there. Hat tricks is a temporary available as a swarm doodle, which is pretty awesome. Hat tricks is like a Halloween only kind of doodle. Now you can actually get it in swarms right now, so find certain skins of it or misprint it if you want. Particle images now are shown in the gem shop, which we'll see that near the end of the video. Fixed swamp now lasts five turns. Okay, new printing stuff. Instead of date map, we already know it says date printing. To add ink bottle to your doodle, it costs 20 tickets plus the ink bottle of that color tiny doodles now cost 25 tickets and the big are 50 which says there will be more ways to obtain tint bottles in the future but this is what he came up with for right now all the valentine skins once you hit 100 chain every encounter of that valentine skin you're hunting will be the v-day skin so you can hunt it for a misprint or certain stars other than exotics they just spawn whenever just to let you know, before we look at the skins, Melzeri is a V-Day special skin. Instead of a 100 chain, all you need is a 10 chain. Once you get a 10 chain, every Melzeri you see after that, so 11 or higher, will have the V-Day skin on it. Usually when there's a set encounter for uh, like Melzer or Glubby, it's usually 25 or higher. Okay, so I do got the new doodle on me. The first one that spawned for me was only a 2 star, but I really like how it looks. Lately, Roblox has been loading slow for me, but yes, I really like this. It's like a bug skin snake kind of dead like i don't know what this doodle is immune to damaging earth type attacks it's trait i got on is levitate doesn't have bad moves already on it spark beast we'll probably make a separate video just on this doodle in a day or two okay here we are at printing place and let's just look at this real quick so i printed uh almost 200 cowl soul tickets but right here under it, it says tent this has always been here but now if you do have an ink bottle on you probably show what colors of ink bottles you got and how many tickets you got 
to use. But yeah, like the size, see, 50. Only 110 tickets, and that's not a lot. And it looks like a pickpocket on Swoptar is printing move, so you gotta buy printing tickets. That's pretty much what was added, so how about we look at the skins now, and then the gem shop. Okay, so here we go. It looks like Grim Sugar's Evolution Line has a new skin, and I'm pretty sure this is a CC skin. It's actually pretty amazing looking. I love the colors on it. Pretty cool. Oh, Foil has a new skin, and it looks like it's based off music. I love anything music, so I'd definitely be hunting for this. It's pretty cool looking. I like the music notes. Oh my gosh, we got Pixel Chronos. I love getting these Pixel skins. I hope we get updated Pixel art skins, like think of Pokemon Black and White, Nintendo DS kind of Pixel art compared to the original Pokemon Red and Blue Game Boy different color greens pixel art. Really love this. Oh, it looks like Jelly Pea has a new skin. I can't really tell what it is. Is it orange slices? But pretty cool. Oh, it looks like As You Pian and its evolution line has a Raymond skin. It looks like all the foods are getting Raymond skins. And this one's not too bad. A Spark evolution line has a new skin. I actually really like how this looks. He's getting some pretty cool skin designs. I really like this. Oh my gosh, Implant and Deferno finally got a new skin and I really like this. That smoke and like spirit stuff, the different gray is really cool looking. Looks like Wideland's Evolution line has a new skin and it looks like it's based off a cat. We're getting a lot of cat skins lately. This is pretty cool. I like it. Looks like Squealy has a new skin and it looks like it's based off UFO stuff, alien style. That's really cool looking. I still have not misprint hunted that. I don't know why, but pretty cool skin. Looks like Party Bug has a new skin and it looks like it's a party popper. I really love the colors of this and how that looks. It's a really cool skin for Party Bug. Uh, it looks like Stalagant has a new skin and this is actually not bad looking. Unicorn light, very furry. For both different versions, male and female, that's pretty cool looking. Okay, so now we're at the Valentine skins that we can get. Remember, all these skins other than the exotic skins or anything that's uh, legendary like Melzeri is a guarantee spawn at 100 chain or higher of that doodle. So we got Valentine's Day Jelly Pea. We got Valentine's Day Malatrick, which should be able to go to doodle market by Malatrick on the skin once you hit 100. It'll start spawning. I'm definitely doing that. Oh, Valentine's Day Moss. Pretty awesome. Valentine's Day Malzery. That's the one that once you get a 10 chain of Malzery, 11 and higher, every spawn of Malzery will be that skin. We got V-Day Grunkle. That's a really cool skin of Grunkle and its evolution. I like it. We got V-Day Dewaf in its evolution line. I've already got this skin because right before the update came, I was literally five away from 100 and then the update came. So, uh, V-Day Hattricks. This is another skin I'm definitely going to hunt since there is swarm of Hattricks and I don't know how long the swarms are staying for Hattricks. It could just be for this mini event. So hopefully I get enough time because I am going to try to get all these V-Day skins since it's a guarantee 100 and I would love to hunt for Pixel Hattricks. But these are not bad V-Day skins just for, you know, it's Valentine's. Not much you can do other than chocolates and hearts and cupid crap, but not bad for V-Day stuff. And here's the exotic skin which can spawn anywhere while you're chaining, while you're not chaining, while you're just walking through it can randomly spawn in its exotic skin. So we only got two exotic skins now, Kawaso V-Day and Shice's V-Day evolution line. And I really like how this skin looks, especially the smaller version and then the Reaper style. It's really cool looking for a V-Day skin. Okay, we got V-Day Bunsley and Bunsworth and this is the skin I'm gonna hunt next because it is animated it's little wings on the side kind of move and that's a pretty cool skin and then we got V-Day Grim Sugar I don't know this might be one of the Valentine skins I might not hunt but it really depends on what's going on but not bad either and it looks like we got scribble munchies finally got scribbled and then the blackout is the new doodle and the new doodle also has a prestige I'm pretty sure and scribble I also wish that he forgot this a bumper car clicky is actually added so you can actually buy clicky in the doodle market and hunt the skin okay now let's look at the gem shop if you notice i have not clicked the button yet so let's click it Okay, so we got Pixel Chronos for 5k gems. Man, you're driving me crazy. We got Scribble Munchies for 1,250 gems, but for some reason it says on oh, pet pep on right here it says Scribble Munchies. Okay, we got UFO Bionotic, and I was right, it was UFO, and it's 2,500 gems. We got 
Music Illuminanja, which is 2,500 gems, and this is a skin I do want to hunt, because I love music. We got Range and Vaulted Challenge for 2,500 gems. We got Party Popper, Party Bug for 2k gems. That is not bad, and that's an awesome skin. The misprint's really cool looking. We got Bumper Car Clicky for 2k gems. Nice. Unicorn Stalagant is 3k gems, so it is a unicorn. Very furry. Cat Marigram is 2,500 gems. Not a bad cat skin. Hovering Inferno Duffernal, 2,500 gems. A name almost messed up my head saying it. Raymond Scorpiru is 2k gems. Not bad either. And looks like there's a swarm snack in here for 450 gems for some reason. And here's the Arcana Particle Effect for 2,500 gems. And now he took a picture of it over a dummy so you can see what it looks. Well, that's pretty much it. That's in the update. Tell me what skin you like the most. Tell me what V-Day skin you're going to be hunting if you're going to hunt them all since there's a 100 chain guarantee or if you're only going to get certain ones. Let me know in the comments. Also, I'm still working on my printing video. I'm just trying to make it like, you know, quick, short, and just get to the point, which you guys probably already know everything about printing, but we'll probably get more stuff added. So I'm just like waiting. But that's pretty much it. That's in this tint printing update for 2-10-2023. Came out kind of late in my time zone. It's only, it's like 10 p.m. where I'm at right now. But either way, I'm Gore Punk. You're the Goriest Punk YouTube channel. If you are new, smash that sub button right under the video. Go follow me at my Twitter at Goriest Punk and thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, guys, thank you for stopping by and checking out the Studio World video for tent printing on 2 2023 Hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever you're at on this planet Earth. Later.